let's get talking about the rains. Uh, D.K. Joshi, Chief Economist of Crisil, uh, has authored a report with details of what the deficient monsoons could mean for crop sowing and agricultural production and which states would be most affected. Mr. Joshi, morning. Uh, what is your assessment on this report on impact on agricultural production? Well, I think things are as bad as 2009 and uh, if uh, this scenario continues, which is about 22% uh, deficiency into the rest of the season as well, then I think you have a situation where uh, uh, the food grain production or the will fall in Kharif and overall I think we could end up with a flat year as far as agriculture is concerned. I think the picture will become more clear once we have more information uh, in, uh, for the month of August because if, if you get good rains in August and September I think that improves the prospects for Rabi. That we really don't know about but I think from going by the current trends I think things look pretty bleak right now. Mm. What is your assessment uh, from the study of the worst affected states where crop pro uh, production might be affected the most? Well, I think the worst affected states are those which have low irrigation buffer and have suffered uh, massive deficiency. I think those include uh, uh, Maharashtra, those include Gujarat, I think the other state is Madhya Pradesh. I think what you have in these states is uh, 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 particularly the coarse cereals, the pulses, which are grown uh, typically in these states. I think they are, the sowing has been impacted badly. Their, uh, 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 the production will go down, the yields will go down. So I think what, what this means for, uh, for, for overall uh, food scenario is that pulses, oil seeds, and also coarse cereals, I think they are going to witness uh, uh, high inflation. They already have higher inflation than rice and wheat. And I think that scenario is going to uh, worsen going ahead. And I think, uh, so uh, from an agriculture perspective, I think the GDP will be shaved off because of this. And uh, inflation will perk up beyond what we currently believe. So I think it's, it's going to increase the, uh, uh, the trade-off between growth and inflation at the macro level. Which cereals, uh, oil seeds and pulses do you expect the maximum price impact on? Jowar, Bajra, uh, from pulses we have Tur and oil seeds, uh, soya bean, because soya bean crop has been globally also very badly impacted. So the chance of, uh, of, of getting cheaper imports can be ruled out for soya bean. So I think the, these are the crops which, are, which will typically be hurt much more. So by when do you expect them to be nudging inflation uh, because of the price impact? Well, I think we should uh, already the commodity prices, food grain prices uh, have already started shooting up. I think within a month or so, you should start seeing them reflected in the wholesale price index as well. Hmm. Uh, what kind of parallels can you see with 2009 in terms of how things are progressing at least till the end of July? Well, I think the overall situation is almost similar, but uh, the, I think uh, if for some of the crops and some of the states, I think the impact uh, in terms of our, uh, the measure that we use, which is the deficient rainfall impact parameter, which combines the impact of deficient monsoons, as well as it uh, combines the vulnerability of a particular crop in terms of irrigation cover. I think if you take that, uh, if you take both the factors together, I think uh, the, some of, for some of the crops and some of the states, the things are worse than uh, what they were in 2009. Mm. You've also alluded in your report to the possibility of GDP growth sliding even below 6% if things continue like this. Absolutely. I think we have, uh, uh, our projection is at 6.5% current projection for GDP growth and that doesn't factor in uh, uh, the, the bad monsoons. And if, if ag overall agriculture production is, uh, is uh, growth is zero or GDP in agriculture is zero, I think that, you are, uh, that will shave off at least uh, uh, 70 basis points from the current forecast that we have. So GDP would be definitely below 6% I think if this scenario continues. Mm. So, aside of what it may do to inflation and growth, do you worry about what it could do to the fiscal situation of the government because of schemes, restructuring, etc., or payments? And have you looked at any kind of parallels with 2009 in this context? Well, not really, but I think what's, what's very clear is that uh, the, the outgoes on Naregas will increase. I think what's very clear is that government will have to uh, purchase at the MSP and sell more at, the, at a lower subsidized price, so the subsidy, food subsidy will get impacted. Uh, I think on the fertilizer side, the consumption will be lower, so I think the fertilizer subsidy bill may not be that adversely impacted. But I think from the food side and also from the drought expenditure side, I think we, we are going to see an additional hit to the fisc. 
Thanks, Mr. Joshi, for joining in with that. Um, and now we give you some slices from the ITC AGM.